This is a 1965 Rambler Marlin. I'm Dave MacDonald at Medway. I bought it in 2007. They needed a full restoration, uh, which took me three years to do. I ended up taking, buying a, a parts car from out of South Texas, literally cut the back end of the Texas car and the front end of this car off. It's a unibody. And welded them back together and this was AMC's answer to the Mustang quickly and basically what they did is they took their mid-sized car which was a classic and grafted a fastback body onto it. There was some debate in the factory they wanted to use the small chassis the Rambler American chassis but it ended up being on the mid-sized chassis. They made this particular body style for two years. In 1965, they made 10,000 of them. In 1966, they made roughly 5,000 of them. Um, and then in 1968, the, the Javelin AMX came in and replaced this Marlin. It's highly optioned. It has a 327 four-barrel carburetor. It has bucket seats, factory air limited slip differential. Other than the Ambassador convertible, this is the most expensive AMC product in 1965. Yes, this was this was an early production car and a lot of them came with this particular two-tone body color. This is probably the most popular body color there was. Most all Marlins came with two-tone paint um, and this happens to be the red on the black. After it came back from uh, body and paint, it was just putting the car all back together. It's completely factory. Um, and then I've been showing it for like 12 years now. Typically, it's the only Rambler Marlin at a car show. I haven't seen another one in the 12 years I've been showing it.